Hi guys, Nightmare Nando here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and welcome to another video where we talk about all things The Nightmare Before Christmas. Today, we're gonna open and review the Funko Pop Biddy Nightmare Before Christmas collection. We're gonna open them, check out what mystery figures we got, and we're gonna compare them to their original Funko Pops. By the way, thank you to all 100 subscribers. Though that may be small, it is mighty, and I really appreciate the love. Let's get started. Okay, we're starting off with the first box. I am so excited to open these up because if you've seen my other videos, you know I am a sucker for detail. And the smaller things get, the more detail they need. Just by looking at the front, we can see that it comes with a display shelf and they're a part of the 30th anniversary celebration. We've got three pops that we see and a mystery one here that we can find. Let's go ahead and check this out. We've got our first little protective case. It's got a Funko logo on it. it. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so the first one we're gonna look at is number 449, which is Sally with the basket. So right off the bat, in case you don't know, any Funko Pop that has a green colored box like this means that it was released in 2018 as a part of the 25th anniversary celebration. Let's go ahead and open her up. She's got two little notches on the end. There we go, which pop her off of her cover. She does have a little screw at the bottom holding her to her base. And there she is. Let's go ahead and compare her to her regular size. Okay, so for comparison, here is the normal regular sized Funko Pop. And here is our Biddy. I am impressed with the level of detail. The resemblances are striking. If I'm being just very nitpicky, the number of scars across her eyes and across her mouth don't match, but who's counting, right? Let's go ahead and continue by opening up number 15, Jack Skellington, who was released in 2011. Okay, just by looking at him, I believe they changed his pose. I believe the proportions of this guy aren't really doing it for me. Now, I know he's very tiny, but the proportions from his chest to his legs just make him look really short. Maybe it's the size of his head, but he's got his little coattails. So here we've got regular size number 15, Jack Skellington, and its Biddy Pop counterpart. As you can see, his pose has been changed. It doesn't look the same. It's missing the eyebrow detailing and just looks short and stumpy. Okay, let's move on. Next, we've got number 71, Zero. You can actually see the detailing on his nose, which I love. And just as a reminder, this red box means that it was released in 2013, which was the 20th anniversary. Let's open him up. I am actually really enjoying this Zero. Okay guys, so the Zeros look awesome on their own and compared, they look really similar. Let's move on to the fourth box, which is going to be our mystery character. So there's a one in three chance that we'll pull either Harlequin Demon or Oogie Boogie with Bugs and a one in six chance that we'll pull the Mayor or Snowman Jack. Okay guys, let's open him up. And we've got number 212, the Harlequin Demon, who was released in 2018 as a part of the 25th anniversary celebration. This is a one in three mystery figure. Okay, this is probably my favorite Biddy Pop so far. The details are amazing and they really do resemble the features on the regular sized Harlequin Demon. For example, on the back, there is a gap in his teeth that you can see clearly right there. And if you turn the Biddy Pop around, there's also a gap in the teeth. So the Harlequin Demon is my favorite Biddy Pop so far. The details are amazing and actually accurate when compared to the regular sized Funko Pop. It's amazing. We've opened up our first box, let's move on to box number two. 
Let's go ahead and start with number 39, Oogie Boogie, who was released in 2012. Alright guys, so you can see a little dice discrepancy. I think when they first made it, they made the dice white because that's the color dice are, but they realized that Oogie's dice were red. On the regular size, you can see that the twos are facing forward, but when you look at the Bitty Pop, you can see that he's holding snake eyes. All right, moving on, we've got number 406, Lock. You can see he's got his slingshot in hand, and he's also crossing his fingers, just like he does in the movie, when he promises Jack that he would keep Oogie Boogie out. Let's open him up and see if his fingers really are crossed behind his back. And they are. That detailing is so cool. Let's open up Locke and see if he matches. I have to confess, I have never opened my Funko Pops. The only time I've opened my Funko Pops has been on this channel in these videos. So this is the first time I'm opening up a lot of these characters and I am loving it. Okay, these similarities are awesome. The details, from the original size Funko Pop to the Biddy are amazing. The hair, the mask is just so cool. Let's move on. All right, here is a closer look at number 407 Shock, who also has a slingshot in her left hand and has her right hand on her hip. You can also see some detailing of the little petticoat dress on both the Biddy Pop and the regular sized Funko Pop. Here is a look at the back of both pops, and here is a look at the sides. These look awesome individually, and they look really good when they're compared to each other. Let's move on. Now we've got our mystery pop, which I hope is not Harlequin Demon. I am purposefully not looking at the top or the bottom so that we truly get a mystery reveal. We've got Snowman Jack. Yes. All right, all right, here he is in more detail. He's holding an umbrella with his left hand and his right is by his side. Snowman Jack number 448. There is the 25th anniversary logo. Let's open him up and see what he looks like out of the box. All right, so this is a little disappointing on the detailing. If you look at his body, he just kind of looks like a little caterpillar. I'll show you what I mean. You can see that Jack's body, his legs, is the biggest snowball, and it goes up until it gets to his chest. The Biddy Pop, not so much. Also, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like the hat on the Biddy Pop is still a little too small. Also, it's missing the red on the handle. I think the ratios are just off, and the expressions are different. Look at that. I am noticing he is speaking in the regular sized Funko Pop, but when it gets to the bitty, he is just smiling. And I bet that is because they already have a mold of Jack smiling. I had high hopes for him. Let's continue. All right, guys, so we've got box number three out of four, starting off with Pumpkin King Jack, number 153, released in 2015. And here they are side by side. Right off the bat, you can see that his head is missing a brown little stem here. The expression is the same, and they look pretty much similar to each other. Here you can see there is a difference in the length of his coattails. The Bitty Pops hits the floor, while the regular Funko Pop does not. I do have to say, they both look really cool individually, and compared, they're pretty similar. Let's move on. All right, guys. Next, we've got number 807, The Mayor. This mayor was released in 2020. You can kind of see mine isn't too screwed in. Aside from him having a little wobble, let's take a closer look. Okay guys, so what you're looking at is closer to the chase than the regular mayor. Here's why. The facial expressions match, although the plans for Halloween don't match. Here, he's got the plans out, and on the Biddy Pop, he's got them rolled up. There's also no writing on his little pennant. And looking at the back, the expressions are the same. Pretty interesting that the mayor that comes with the set is the chase, when the mayor that comes in the mystery box is the original. Let's continue. Next, we've got number 408, 
Barrel, who was released in 2018 as a part of the 25th anniversary collection. You can see he's got his lollipop in his hand. He's the only one without a slingshot. Let's take a closer look. Okay, here they are side by side. Right off the bat, I am noticing that original size Funko is barefoot and the Biddy Pop has got some black shoes on. Also, the Biddy Pop doesn't have pants. He's got like an oversized shirt. There is still some bone detail on his sleeves. The texturing of his hair looks really cool. There are some differences, but they're okay. Let's move on and see what we got in the mystery box. So, we are looking for Oogie Boogie with the Bugs or the Mayor. Let's see what we've got. Three, two, one. Ugh. We got another Harlequin Demon. Aside from not pulling a perfect set, I'm actually okay with it because the Harlequin Demon is one of my favorites so far. Let's move on to box number four. So here are the three pops that we can see with a fourth mystery box. Let's open them up. All right, here we've got shelf number four. I really like how these stack and become their own showcase. All right. Here we've got box number four, starting off with number 72, Santa Jack Skellington. Santa Jack Skellington, who was released in 2013 as a part of the 20th anniversary celebration. You can see his left hand up in the air, and his right arm is holding a present. Let's open him up. And here they are side by side. I am noticing a difference in the mouth position. That seems to be just about the only difference in these two figures, which is pretty awesome. You can still see the gift inside the right arm on the Biddy Pop. They look so cool. I am enjoying the Biddy Pop. This one does not look short. Maybe it's the black belt they put around him that really changes the difference between the top and the bottom half of his body. He actually looks tall. Let's move on. Okay guys, we've only got three spaces left. Let's see how it ends. Next, we've got number 805, Sandy Claus. What I like about this pop is that it's not just the character posing. This is clearly from a part of the movie where Jack takes his hat and he's got candy in his beard from being inside the bag where he was kidnapped. It is pretty cool. Let's take both of these out of their box and compare them. Okay, here they are side by side. I am really enjoying the details and how they translate from the regular pop to the bitty pop. Let's move on. All right, we are down to number 806, Sally Sewing who was released in 2020. I can't believe it's been three years since the blue boxed Funko Pops were released. Let's go ahead and open them up. And here they are side by side. They both look really good. Wow. This is my first time seeing the original one out of its box. The attention to detail with her arm being sewn back on just looks Awesome. I like that they tried to match the colors of the dress in the appropriate places. The proportions of her hair are really spot on, and the expressions are really similar. I enjoy both of these, but I have to say that I prefer the regular size one just on the detail of that arm being sewn. Let's open up our last box. In my hand is one final box. It will either be an Oogie with Bugs or a Mayor. We do not want a duplicate or a third Harlequin Demon, but if we do, it's okay. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Actually, I need you to cross your fingers because I need my hand to open up this box. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Oogie Boogie with Bugs! All right, here is number 450, Oogie Boogie, who was released in 2018 as a part of the 25th anniversary celebration. As you can see here, he is in bug form. I'm so happy we got three out of four mystery boxes. Let's open them up and take a closer look. And here they are side by side. Their coloring is spot on. The attention to detail of the placed worms or little maggots also are so nice. You can tell they took the time to make sure that the bugs were placed as accurately as possible. Only two small differences. In the Biddy Pop, his mouth and his eyes are painted in black, while in the regular pop, 
there's still the same purple as his body. And the second, in the original, you can see the worm that's sticking out of his hand. And in the Bitty Pop, you can't really tell, but that's minor. Okay, this has gotta be my second favorite Bitty Pop. And just like that, we've opened up all 16 Funko Bitty Pops. Here they are up close. And here we are. We have 16 Funko Bitty Pops and 16 regular sized Funko Pops. You may notice that we have two Harlequin Demons. The only Bitty Pop figure we're missing is the Mayor. So if you're looking to trade a Mayor for a Harlequin Demon, let me know. But wait, these are all kinds of unorganized. I have to put them in number order and see what they look like. Okay, now they're in order. It's awesome to see that about half of these are green boxes which belong to the 25th anniversary collection. Second would be the blue boxes that belong to the 2020 release. I'm so excited that we got these Bitty Pops. All right guys, so what do you think? Which character is your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can join our NBC Collectibles community. Speaking of, I wanna give a huge thank you to everyone who's watched the video and even better, subscribe to the channel. I really do enjoy sharing my collection and I hope you enjoy watching. Thank you so much. Until next time, see ya.